Hello, this is adding whole numbers lesson two from, um, well, session two from lesson four. So again, we are going to use our card here to help us solve our word problem. We are on page 53 in our math book. At a fair, 4,657 ride tickets are sold on Saturday, and 3,804 tickets are sold on Sunday. How many tickets are sold in all during those two days? Use any strategy to add. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves, what is this problem about? And we are talking about ride tickets that are being sold. So that's what it's about on Saturday and Sunday. What information is important? The first information that's important is 4,657 tickets are sold on Saturday. And the next is 3,804 tickets are sold on Sunday. And then there's one more thing that's important, and it's in our question down here, and it's in all. In all is very important because it tells us that we are going to add. It means add. What am I trying to find out? I am trying to find out how many are sold in all during those two days. And can I draw a model to solve this problem? Yes, I can. Our model would look like this. It's a bar model and it would be 4,657, 3,804. This is Saturday. This is Sunday. And we're going to go like that. And it's, this is the total. Another model that we can use to solve this is a place value chart. So I'm going to use my place value chart. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay. And then I'm going to place my first number in there, which is 4,657. And my second number is 3,000. 804. Do I have a number in my ones column for each of those? Yes, I do. So now I can add them together. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So my one goes here and then I carry my other one. 5 plus 0 is 5 plus one more is 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So my 4 goes down here and I carry my 1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And don't forget your comma. So the answer is 8,461 ride tickets. Do not forget that label. It is very important. Okay, let's go to page 54. On page 54 here, it says, it's got, give us the same problem, except for now, if you notice here on the model it, it's breaking it out. So instead of us putting the one here and carrying the one to the top, it's putting 11 right here total. So this is a model that is, um, that we will use a lot when we do multi-digit multiplication and also when we do long division. And so they're kind of starting to give you what it looks like here. So if we have four ones plus seven ones, which is four ones and seven ones, it totals 11 ones or one 10 and one one is that same thing. Right here, it's giving us a five, but that five is actually representative of 50 and then zero. So five tens 
and 0 tens equals 5 tens or 50 ones. Okay. And then we go to the hundreds. It's six hundreds and eight hundreds, which means fourteen hundreds or one thousand four hundreds. And then our last one is four thousands plus three thousands equals seven thousands. So then we can add all those up and our answer is the same. Or down here on the second model it, it's the same version as what we did where we put the one down here and carry the other one. So it's seven ones plus four ones equals 11 ones. It's one 10 plus one one. And this is the way we solved it. Okay. Now over on page 55, it says the, here is the second model showing all the steps at once using the addition algorithm. The sum of the ones is 11. Where do you see 11 in the problem above? So we see the 11 here. We see the, here's the one and there's the one. And when we put those two together, it makes 11. And then it says the sum of the hundreds is 1400. Where do you see it? Here's the four and here's the one. So when we put those two together, it makes 14. Why is there a one above the tens place and above the thousand place? Because we regrouped 10 to the next place value. Explain how to add two four digit numbers if you need to regroup ones and hundreds. Um, you do not have to do that one because we have already done that. Okay, let's turn to page 56. Okay. On page 56, a video game company sells 5,680 copies of its new game on the first day and 3,235 copies on the second day. In those two days, how many copies of the game does the company sell? Show your work. Okay, so let me get our note card here. What is this problem about? Um, it's about how many video games a video game company is selling. What information is important? 5,680 copies is important, and 3,235 copies is important. Also, um, in those two days, how many of the copies does it show your work is important? Okay. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many copies of the game the company sells and can I draw a model to help me solve this problem? Yes, I can. I'm going to use a place value chart. And we're going to do ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay? Now I'm going to put my, name, my numbers in here, 5,680 plus 3,235, 5 plus 0 is 0, 8, 9, 10, 11, carry my 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5 plus 3 is 8. Don't forget my comma. And then we're going to put copies at the end for the label. So it's 8,910 copies. Next. Find the sum of 12,713 and 9,604. Show your work. So if you are comfortable where you can line these numbers up, you do not have to do this in a place value chart. But if you are still struggling with keeping those numbers lined up, see like this right here, I didn't even get that one lined up very well, then it would be wise to go ahead and make that place value chart. 4 plus 3 is 7, 0 plus 1 is 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, carry that 1, 9, 10, 11, plus 1 more is 12, carry another 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and that's how I got my answer. Now we're going to come down here. What is the missing digit that makes the sum correct? Anytime you have a problem like this, you should always just go ahead and solve it. 9 plus 5 is 14. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so there should be a 1 up here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, so my missing number is 8. It's C. Okay, at this time, go ahead and pause this video, and I would really like for you to go ahead and try to complete pages 57 and 58 on your own. There's not a whole lot of problems there, but I think it's important that you try those on your own. After you're finished completing 57 and 58, go ahead and come back and um, you can watch this video to check your answers. If you have quite a few wrong, you might want to ask someone at home for help on this. Okay, I'm going to quickly go over the answers to the problems on pages 57 and 58. So first here we've got 7,315 plus 1,890. 0 plus 5 is 5. 9 plus 1 is 10. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 7, 8, 9. So your answer should be 9,205. Find the sum. This one's kind of small. We've got... 9 plus 5, which is 14. 8 plus 2, which is 10. One more is 11. 5 plus 1, because there's a 0, is 6. And 4 plus 5 is 5. 5,614 is your answer on that one. Okay, now we're at the top of page 58. Last summer, Mia's family drove 1,024 miles from Grand Canyon National Park to Mount, the Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Then they drove 1,389 miles from Mount Rushmore to Yosemite National Park. How many miles did they drive in all? What is this problem about? It's about how many miles Mia's family drove last summer. What information is important? 1,024 miles is important from Grand Canyon to Mount Rushmore, and then from Mount Rushmore to Yosemite, 1,389 is important, and then also down here, in all is important, and show your work is important. In all tells me that this is an addition problem. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many miles did they drive in all. Can I draw a model? Yes, I can, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just draw it like this, where I'm going to add my numbers together, making sure that I have each place value lined up. 9 plus 4 is 13. I carry my 1. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 more is 11, so I carry my 1 again. 3 plus 0 is 3, plus 1 more is 4, 1 plus 1 is 2. So my answer is 2,413 miles. Miles goes right there. Okay, use the tiles below to find a number that makes each addition problem true. You may use a tile more than once. That's very important for me to remember, so I'm going to put a star by it because I can use them more than once. Okay, so down here, 1 plus what makes 5? Well, that would be 4. Okay, 1 plus what makes 6? Well, that would be 5. 1 plus what makes 3? Well, that would be 2. And what makes three? Three. So my answer is 3,254 on that first problem. Now on my second problem, nine plus what makes zero? Ooh, how do you get from a nine to a zero? Interesting. That means that you have to do something to get a zero here. When you put a one, when you put a 1 with a 0, or with a 9, look, 9 plus 1 would make 10, and I would have to carry my 1. So now I have 1 plus 1, which is 2, but how do I get 4 here? So 2 plus 
2 would make 4. 3 plus what makes 8? That would be 5. And 5 plus what equals 9? That would be 4. So the answer is 4,521. On Monday, Calvin runs 4,250 meters. On Tuesday, he runs 4,980 meters. How many meters does he run on Monday and Tuesday? Okay, we're talking about how many miles Calvin runs. So those are the two important numbers. How many meters does he run on Monday and Tuesday? Show your work. So we've got 4,250 plus 4,980. Let's add those together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Carry my 1. 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry my another one, other one. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus one more is 9. So your answer should be 9,230 meters, because you don't want to forget to label it. And our last one on this page, Sam adds 6,152. Okay, so let's do that. 6,152 and 379. 9 plus 2 is 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So put that there. Let's carry my 1, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Okay, so 6,531. He gets a sum of 9,942. Did Sam add right? No, he did not add right. Something is not right. Explain why Sam's addition is incorrect and find the correct sum. Well, we already found the correct sum, but what did he do wrong to get 9,942? Oh, okay. Well, we've got a 2 here. See? So maybe he didn't... What? What's 6 plus 3? So that would be 9. So I think that he lined up his numbers wrong. So I think Sam lined up his numbers like this and added them where he lined it up from the biggest place value instead of making sure that he had something here. Let's see if that's right. 6 plus 3 is 9. 7 plus 1, oh wait, maybe we should start over here. 2 and nothing is 2. 9 and 5 is 14. 7, 8, 9. Is that what Sam got? Yes. So Sam lined up his numbers wrong. He didn't line them up in the zeros place. That is it for this lesson. Next you'll be completing lesson four, session three, and I'll look forward to seeing you at that one.